your Windows 11 is now an AI PC. Go to your start menu and then search for Copilot and open up the application. Here I want to share my screen with Copilot so I can get on screen help and let me wear these headphones so I can hear what it says. Click the glasses where it says share screen with Copilot and then we need to pick a screen or an app. I choose my screen here. Hello, Copilot. Hello there. How can I assist you today? I want to reply to this LinkedIn post. So please craft me a reply that thanks for this great video and also related to the context that Jeppe writes here. Got it. Here's a reply you could use. Thanks, Jeppe, for sharing this insightful video. It's exciting to see how UI path agents are revolutionizing automation. Looking forward to exploring more and here about I just agentic mute automation. My microphone, How does that sound? So I will not speak in over. Currently, there will be no in and out text from Copilot, so we need to do this manually. But very shortly, you will also be able to do this. So what I'll do here is to close this. And then we have our reply here. I will simply just copy it perfectly related to the post. I can comment here and share this comment on the post. And let's also give Yebe a like. Let me minimize the browser again. Each time I want to start a new conversation, I go down to this plus and say new conversation. Now, let's say I want to optimize something could go back to LinkedIn. And let's say I want to optimize my profile. Here you see I have an about section, I have some activity and experience. What I'll do is just again, to go to these glasses, pick a screen or an application, we could try with the application now it will be the same since it's open. Hey again, Anders, what's on your mind today? Hello, Copilot. Here's my LinkedIn profile. As you can see, I'm scrolling it down here. I want to sell more Copilot courses. What would you do, especially about the about section here and the header section? To sell more Copilot courses through your LinkedIn profile, I'd suggest a few tweaks. First, the About section should highlight the unique benefits of your courses. Maybe And maybe Copilot, I just told a story here about my journey, how I quit my job. Do you rather want me to have some call to actions? Yes. A call to action can definitely enhance your About section. You've got a compelling story the ending with a clear action, like inviting people to check out your e And let me close that conversation again so you can use it for on-screen help. Let me minimize my LinkedIn. Let us go to a new conversation and let me show you some important settings for this to work optimally for you. First of all, I like to go down to the icon, right-click, pin to taskbar, then you make sure that your copilot is always available. Then we want to do the settings. Go up in the left corner on this open sidebar. Here you can see a conversation history. Click your icon down here and then you say settings. Here we will first go into privacy. I don't want a model to train on my text, so I will disable this. I also don't want it to train on my voice, but that is not default. Then I go back. Then I can scroll a little bit down. If I enable file search, Copilot can search my files just by me prompting Copilot. Also click the Windows settings here. Scroll a little bit down to find my files. If I choose classic, Copilot will only search in documents, pictures and music. If you want a full experience, you pick Enhanced and that way Copilot will search your entire PC. You can add excluded folders and here you see some of my excluded folders where Copilot won't search in. I'll go with the full experience, so I pick Enhanced and go back. I also want to be able to let Copilot read the contents of these files. In that way I can chat with them with Copilot. 
scroll further down into listen for hey copilot when i enable this and in the future say hey copilot copilot will open that is also handy let us test all this so i click the house up here and i close the sidebar let's first do a file search find an excel file with starship in the name so just by your everyday words, you search for files and here you see it shows up. I can do two things. The first is to click view all files, then the file explorer will open. I need your help. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Thank you. And here we have it. I can now open it. And this is the Excel book that it found. Perfect. We'll get back to this because we want live help in automating the Excel book. But before we do that, let's again go back to Copilot. The other button we could kick, click was the add to conversation. Here you see that it gets added. I can say, what is this? Then I will get an explanation that's what's included, the column names, and I have some example entries. I can also chat with the document. So let's say I want to find out which order ID Lily Allen is the contact for. I simply just go over here and then I say what order. And let's see here that I can misspell it. So right here, it's with capitals. Let's just do this. So with my own words, I'm able to chat with this Excel. What order ID is Lily Allen? The contact for and then it should say 5025 it indeed do and it also say that this is a docking station thunderbolt dock let's just verify this that was right very very impressive now we want copilot's on-screen help for an application let's say i want to automate this excel sheet i want to do a report and that I will use VBA for, but I can't write a single line of VBA. Let me show you how clever Copilot is. Let's also test the shortcut. So I will close this and then I will say, hey, Copilot. Hey, Anders, what's happening? And I will click these glasses here. I'll pick the screen. Copilot, sure. can you verify that you can see my screen? Explain what you see. Yep, I see your screen. You're working in Excel on a file named starshipventures.excel. It looks like you're managing an order list. Anything specific you need help with here? Yeah, we want to automate it. So can you help me creating a VBA macro? Sure thing. Let's create a VBA macro. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I will specify. You should create a VBA macro that sends an email with all rows from this orders sheet where status here in column L is equal to ordered. Gathered in one mail to Anders at AndersJensen.org, you should comma separate the column values in the email. All right, let's craft a VBA macro to email rows where the status is ordered. Want to give it a try? And here I will close it because currently Copilot can insert the text directly into applications that will come very soon. So what it did here was to create the VBA. I can just hit copy here and then I can go back to my book. Let's also say that I don't know how to apply this. Now it gets really impressive. Hey, Copilot. Hey, Anders, what's going on? Show me how to apply the VBA code in this Excel book. Sure thing. First, go to the developer tab on your Excel ribbon. If you don't see it, you'll need to enable it in your Excel options. Once there, that's click great, on... but please show me how. I've highlighted the developer tab on the Excel ribbon. Click there. Then to... show me what I should click next. 
I've highlighted the Visual Basic button under the Developer tab. Click that. And here we'll close Copilot for now. But this is impressive. And once it speeds up, this will just be like your colleague doing your job. Let me go to my VBA here. Now we want to insert this macro. I could do this because I have a little knowledge about it. And what I also see that for some reason, my email is slightly wrong. This is my email. Let's test it. So if I click run here, the macro will run. You can see that it now is looping my Excel book and then it sends an email. Let's go check the email to make sure that it actually solved the task. Here we have it. And this is truly impressive. Yes, we could do a little bit of formatting here, but we can see that this is 5003, 5, 6 and 9 and down. Let's also verify. Let me close this. 5003. 5005, 5006, and 9. That's impressive. Copilot. Let's close down this Excel. Not save it for now. Let's do a new conversation. Here, I can also get better responses. That's it. If you click here, this is the quick response, but you can actually enable up to deep research, then it will take up to 10 minutes to answer you if you need some really hefty reports or research. I can only recommend go investigating that. I can also get help with my open apps. These are the apps that I have currently open. I can see my history, but if you want a longer history, you simply just go to your sidebar. Here you can't see our previous conversations. Your next advanced co-pilot video is right here. Thanks for watching.